All right, uh, here's the next installment in Handsome Bob's makeover program. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the battery that I'm using here. I pulled it out so it's more visible. And this is uh, chunks of a Chevy Volt battery. And uh, don't just pick one of these up and start playing with it. They uh, carry enough current and can discharge enough current to weld things together. Um, the top of the battery has a plastic cover on it, but all of those little shiny alternating tabs are uh, potentially dangerous. And uh, so if you're going to use a battery like this, uh, do your homework, figure out what you're getting into, uh, install a fuse, uh, do everything really carefully, get outside advice if you need. Uh, this is a portion of the original cover that I had to uh, modify somewhat to get it to fit on, but it covers all the contacts. And now that it's been transformed, we have a pretty tidy, safe bundle. It's got some angle brackets welded onto the end plates, thanks to my friend Jan, and that's going to allow me to install it safely into the battery compartment, which is here. So I put in some uh, aluminum angle as the base to pin it in, locate it, and uh, this is just like thermal foil bubble wrap uh, to give it something soft to sit on. And then I'll put a couple bolts in to anchor it down. And then mount to the charger with a galvanized plumbing strap because that's just how classy we are. And you get a bit of a better view of the contactors and the wiring for the uh, controller here. And so the battery can easily be disconnected with a SP-175 Anderson style connector. And then here you can see the main contactor is a Kilovac LEV 200, I think. And this one is a sometimes called a solenoid or winch reversing relay or winch reversing solenoid. And that's all the 48 volt on this side, keeping all the distances down. The battery goes right here, connects to the Anderson, short runs to the motor. And then on the other side is where all the logic 12 volt circuits, DC to DC, and terminal strips are. Still have to anchor down the other battery, but uh, I'll get to that all shortly. Alright, so now the battery is in and anchored down. So the battery faces this way with the fuse and everything sitting nice and snug down in its little confines, bolted down and bolted down at the back. And the cover is pretty snug, looks adequately safe to me. Charger's installed, all tidied up, so there's a sliding door there to get access to the charger to plug it in. And the 12 volt battery is uh, beautifully attached with a bungee strap expecting some improvement on that someday.